Hey, welcome back to the Six Figure Mastermind. Marianne Donavolis here. We're talking cartoon profile pictures today. How could it possibly be beneficial for your business? I'll walk you through it, so stay tuned. Okay, so you wanna create a cartoon profile picture? There's a couple of really easy ways to do it. You know, the first thing I wanna talk about is Apple, okay? Apple has actually configured this brand new product for iPhone 10 and above that will allow you to create a cartoon of your face. And that will even be animated when you're sending texts and all that fun stuff. So if you're an Apple user and you have the iPhone 10 or above, open up that Cartoon Creator app and you can actually create an animated or a still cartoon of yourself and use that as a profile picture if you'd like. For everybody else, there is a great app called Bitmoji, B-I-T-M-O-G-I. This is a super fun app to use because it comes with so many different what I call stickers. In Bitmoji, it will actually walk you through creating a cartoon version of yourself. You can customize your hair color, you can customize the haircut, you can customize your facial shape, where your wrinkle lines are, what color your eyes are, what the shape of your eyes and your lips are. You can get pretty accurate in skin tone everything. You can even customize different outfits from Bitmoji. And Bitmoji is so fun because it will also use that cartoon version of yourself to create stickers and even sometimes some memes with some words and pictures put together on it. It's super easy and super fun to put together. You can use those stickers and texts, you can use them as posts on Facebook, and you can definitely use them as profile picture. Now, why would you want to use a cartoon profile picture? When is it appropriate in business and when is it not appropriate in business? Think about what a cartoon picture conveys. If you're in the graphic arts, it's a really fun opportunity to animate yourself. You know, in the graphic arts is a creative industry, which means the cartoon version of yourself is part of that image. It's part of your brand. It's part of the playfulness of what you do. So consider your industry. Does your industry lend itself to that playful, whimsical, kind of less than professional appeal? And I get it, like some industries are professional industries, but they don't want to feel like professional industries. And if that's one of yours, that might be something to consider. If you want to be professional, but you don't want to feel professional, a cartoon is one way to do that. One time that you definitely do not want to use a cartoon profile is if it's in conflict with your brand. Now, my brand is super fun, it's super spunky, it's a little bit whimsical sometimes, but actually, a cartoon profile picture doesn't speak to my brand because I do have a professional level in my brand. Now, when you get close working one-on-one -on -one with me, you're gonna see I send you cartoons in texts all the time. That's part of my brand, is part of that playfulness, part of that accessibility. It's not my profile picture, but I do use it in my communications, emails, texts. It creates a close relationship with people and it takes away this guru pedestal that separates people from their audience, right? So cartoons can be a tool, but they can also be a hindrance. Match whatever your profile picture is with your brand. In fact, you can even get a public opinion. If you were to go out there and say, hey, what does my profile picture say about me in your eyes? That's a really good idea to ask your audience. Just pull the audience. What does my profile picture say to you? Then switch it over to a cartoon and ask the same question and just ask yourself, is this feedback feedback I want to be hearing? Is it feedback that supports my brand? Is it feedback that supports my business? So cartoon generation, it's super easy. Just download that Bitmoji app, or if you have an iPhone, you can just use the feature that's already built in. And remember to ask your audience, what do you feel coming from me and my brand based on my profile picture? And then you'll have a good idea of whether or not it's a good fit for you. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And real quick before you go, if you're interested in how you and I can work really closely together in building your six-figure business, leave me a comment and hit the link in the description below and I'll be chatting with you soon. Take care.